Listen. The steamroller was making rude remarks about the engines. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. It happened long ago when Peter Sam was called Stuart and Sir Handel Falcon. 101 hadn't noticed. He had troubles of his own. He was cross with his coaches. They seemed to be getting heavier. His driver and applied the brakes. Ahead was a cricket field. The game had just begun. Noise and dust filled the air. Don't worry, whistled Toby. The station's nearly finished. And on time, too. Percy had never been to the quarry before. He began ordering the freight cars about. Hurry along, he said. The freight cars grumbled to each other. This is Toby's place. You know just where to stop, Thomas. She tooted at a farm crossing and a horse and cart halted while she went by. <laughs> she said, it's easy. I just toot and they all stand aside. Poor little Toby. I'm sorry he's frightened. Whatever is that rubbish? The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabel, and Henrietta, who were most offended. We won't stay here to be insulted, they fumed. Percy and Toby had to take them away and spend half the night soothing their hurt feelings. They tried everything to get rid of the bees. First, they spun on the turntable, but to no avail. They tried washing them off, but the bees clung harder to James's warm boiler. Then they tried smoking them off by going through a long tunnel, but still the bees wouldn't go away. Then the rain came. Henry's driver and fireman covered up their cab to keep dry. A painter was on the ladder above the line. Henry's smoke blew high into the air. The painter couldn't see. Both he and the paint pot fell all over Henry. Poor Henry. 